Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for three different add-on showcases. Now, today's add-on, one of them is actually a throwback to the older versions of Minecraft Pocket Edition to where you could craft the old stone cutter, the nether reactor core, remember those kind of things? Now, this add-on brings it back so you can have them in your survival world. We also have the ability to craft balloons, Ice bombs, underwater TNT, underwater torches, and so much more. Now, yes, that is also available in the Minecraft education version, but today's add-on makes it a lot easier to craft it in survival. We also have another add-on, which is the uncraftable add-on. I will explain it all in today's video. So these add-ons do fully support 1.14.30. They should support the future versions 1.16, because remember, there is no 1.15. Um, but I want to go through a couple of details on the main screen. First thing I want to mention, guys, is that for the ice bombs, the underwater TNT, etc., you're going to have to have two things enabled. One of them is going to have to be experimental gameplay, and the other is the education edition. Now, remember... The items I'm showing you today are already craftable in the education version. It's just a lot easier to do it in survival. Now, this add-on should work for iOS, Android, Windows 10. If there's a way to get them on Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation 4, it will work for those versions as well. All the links are down below, but let's go to game and let's go through today's add-on. So I want to start today's video by asking you guys a question. What was the first ever version of Minecraft that you ever played? Now, if you're a Pocket Edition player, do you actually remember this? This is the old school stone cutter. So this basically just brings back these blocks so you can have them in your survival world forever. Now this uh, add-on was created by Unknown Error, so full credit to him. Even the piggies giving him a shout out right there. Uh, there'll be a link to his social medias and of course a download for this as well. So if you wanted to craft yourself a stone cutter in your ordinary survival world, you just need a stone slab and a smooth stone slab and inside the crafting table, this needs to go on the bottom, this goes on the top, and the outcome is this. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, to start off with. Now, one or two in today's video is going to require you to mess around with in creative. Uh, the next one we have here is the camera. Now, this originally was a Minecraft education feature. I'm not sure if it's still available in education, but I remember when modders first found this out and you could actually take pictures in the Pocket Edition version. It's one, two, three, four, and there we go. There's the camera. So yeah, uh, again, you could place them down if you wanted to, but I remember when this first came out, man. It's a shame that they haven't done it with the, the legs because it did have like a, a camera stand, but that's the second one. In fact, we'll get them all out because I think they're, I think they're beautiful blocks. I'm pretty sure for the people out there who play a lot of Minecraft, in fact, we'll move this because I think the camera facing this way Wait, is it only face one way? Oh, that really sucks. Oh, man. So the eye is like always facing there, even if you face it that way. Oh, that kind of sucks. Well, that's a shame. Either way, though, there's two of them. So we have the stone cutter, we have the camera. The next one we have here is called Fake Slabs. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this one's all about, but inside your crafting table, three stone at the bottom, they go there, and the outcome is wooden slabs. I'm... Honestly, not quite sure what this meant to be. Apparently, they're fake slabs. Um, maybe you guys can figure something else to do with them. The next one we have here is the jigsaw block. For this one, you are going to have to give yourself a structure block, but basically, the jigsaw block is a Minecraft Java feature. Hasn't quite made its way onto the Bedrock version, but this is the simple crafting. All right, let's get into some of the old school stuff that I actually do remember. I was actually fortunate enough to play Minecraft when the stone cutter was available, but also when things like the nether reactor core was available as well. Now, if you want to craft this, quite expensive just for a decorative block, but you're gonna need six iron on the outside, and then you're also gonna need six iron on this side and three diamonds through the middle. I remember this block a lot. It kind of looks like eggs though. Uh, and then of course, they, know they got rid of this one because, well, they moved on with Minecraft. They didn't need the nether reactor core, and they also didn't need glowing obsidian. But if you want to craft this one again, uh, very similar recipe to what I previously showed you. This one is obby along the outside this time. And then one, two, three, four redstone dust. And also this one. This one gives you four as well. Uh, I love this though. I think it's a brilliant texture to possibly, I don't know, create something in the nether. I'm pretty sure some of you guys could figure out something to do with this and ordinary obsidian. And very, very soon in the future we are going to have uh, glowing obsidian as well. So I'm pretty sure you guys, not glowing obsidian, sorry, crying obsidian. 
So if you wanted to have the whole shebang, the whole combination of obsidian, the glowing obsidian and crying obsidian, that's something you can do. The next one is Invisible Bedrock, but you're going to need a barrier for this one. Now, if I remember correctly, Invisible Bedrock was basically just uh, a barrier in the older versions. Now, if we place this down, it's still there. It's still invisible. It just gives you a completely invisible block. Now, if you really wanted to troll your friends, I'm pretty sure you could do that. I could never, ever figure out, though. So we put this here. I could never, ever figure out how to place down more than one, though. Does that work? Oh, yeah, that one works. Okay. There's always a pain. It's basically just a barrier. If we grab... If we, if we, if we go forward slash give at P... Barrier? Can we see it when we're holding it? No. So there's a difference. Whenever you're holding a barrier, you can see it. But this one's even more of a troll because there's no outline to it. So you can't really pick it up again. It's just always been classed as in invisible bedrock. The next one we have here is barrier which I think this is just giving you, there's nothing in this one, I don't think. This one's just giving you an easier option to craft the barrier in survival rather than having to type out your commands all the time. If you're on like iOS sometimes or other devices, sometimes it can be quite tedious. This one is just simply crafting rather than having to type it out. But yeah, some of them are a throwback. I just thought some of you guys might want to have a mess around with these blocks. They're all decorative. Moving on to number two. So again, we do have these already in Minecraft via the education version. This just makes them a lot easier to craft. Again, the creator is unknown error. We're going to be crafting lab tables, the material reducer, the element constructor, and the compound creator. Now again, this is all science, and I did dedicated videos on this as well. They are all fully functional, in case you guys haven't messed around with the education version. We're going to be making things like ice bombs, which is this. We're going to be making sparklers. We're going to be making... It, it works, by the way. Uh, balloons. And yes, you are able to balloon animals. And you can get these all craftable in your survival world. So we will just do forward slash clear and get rid of everything we are holding. Uh, in terms of crafting this, these are the recipe. So again, a lot easier to craft for your everyday survival world. With this one, you need oak around the outside, one glass bottle, and iron across the top. I'm not going to show you guys how to craft them all, but I will show you the recipes in case you're interested in it. And if you want to go to the page below, it will teach you in a little bit more detail. The next one to create the material reducer, you are going to need a grindstone with this one. The next one to craft an element constructor. This one's quite difficult because you're going to need a nether star. And in survival, fighting a wither in the bedrock version is quite dangerous. I've done it multiple times. It's a lot harder to fight a wither on bedrock than it is on Java Edition. The next one is... This one, this one, the compound creator, I should have put that there. Uh, and that's all the recipes. But I will show you guys how to easily craft a bunch of things. We'll start with the ice bombs. And again, if you haven't messed around with the education version, the ice bombs, they are fully functional. Whenever they hit water, will literally create ice. Really simply as well. And this one just makes the ice bomb a lot easier uh, to craft. So if you wanted to craft yourself the ice bomb, the recipe for this is ice and water. Don't forget, you can silk touch this. This goes in the middle. And one, two, three, four around the outside. Create yourself an ice bomb. Sparklers. There is multiple different colors of sparklers. And yes, they do work. Forward slash time set. Day. It's wrong. Night. They don't really emit light, but they do have particle effects. I'm surprised more people haven't created add-ons using the education version because there's a lot of different mechanics in the education version compared to the ordinary Minecraft game. All right, so if you wanted to craft yourself a sparkler, you are going to simply need this. Now, in terms of the top one, the dye can be anything you wanted to. So if we wanted to make a different colored one, red's my favorite one. So if we type in red, grab ourselves the red dye. In the crafting table, you need a stick, a gunpowder, and a dye. And then you end up with this. Now, you kind of weirdly eat it. And then it's activated. <laughs> yes, quite strange. Note to self, don't eat, don't eat sparklers in real life. It's not a good idea. The next one we have here is red glow stick or glow sticks in general. Not gonna lie, guys. It looks massively like uh, a lightsaber. <laughs> More than it does like a glow stick. Uh, but in does, do these work at night time? I don't think they emit any kind of light, to be honest with you, but they look pretty cool, right? But you can get different colors of these as well. So whatever color you wanted to mess around with, you can do that one. Uh, we've got orange here, not red. So very similar to the what I showed you before, stick goes on the bottom, and then you can put red in there if you wanted to, but this time we'll go orange. Although they look the same. Maybe the colors are slightly broken. 
That's lime. I'm, I'm stupid and black. So yeah, it looks like the colors are a little bit broken with this one. We'll just do forward slash uh, clear. The next one we have here is super fertilizer. Now, yes, this does work and this does super fertilize your crops. And I will show you very simply how this works. And if we just grab ourselves some seeds and we just do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, forward slash game mode survival. Uh, if you right click on it, it instantly grows it to its fullest height. Yes, this is a fully functional thing in Minecraft, which a lot of people actually haven't messed around with the education version. And I think that's a, a fantastic addition to Minecraft. In terms of making it, right, first thing you're gonna need to know is you need salt. To make salt, you need a torch and a water bottle. So water bottle goes on the top, torch on the bottom, the outcome will be salt. Then with salt and the bone meal, you craft this. Uh, I think this is shapeless as well, so you can have it whatever direction you want it to. You can have it anywhere, you can have them anywhere. It is shapeless and you're able to fully grow these to the highest level rather than having to do it multiple times because if you had ordinary bow meal, as you guys can see, well, is that because we're in, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe there's something with the super fertilizer that I'm slightly missing. But maybe because I'm in creative, there's probably a, another reason, uh, but I like it. Now, moving on to one of my favorites is the red balloon. Now I know from experience of us using the education version, Come on, I can't, can you not do it to kitty cats? Well, you can do it to these guys. <laughs> can't do it to cats, I think because they were newer before the education was introduced. Uh, I know from experience, if you wanted to use a balloon, you have to you create latex. In this one, you don't. So if you wanted to craft yourself a balloon, you need whatever wool around the outside, a torch and a lead. So for this one, let's go, let's go a yellow balloon. So we'll go yellow. Lead at the bottom so you can hold it, and then these go around here. So the that's wrong. Why? Why is that wrong? That's why. I know why. I didn't use wool. That's just me being stupid. Just making sure you guys are awake. Uh, and the outcome will be a yellow balloon. Let's go unleash some animals. Come here, little sheepy. Go. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. I'm also curious if I, wait, 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 wait a second. Let's grab some iron, right? And a pumpkin. And let's send an iron golem to space. I think we can use it on iron golems. Also curious about a wither as well. Whoop, whoop, go, yep. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, at least you can see the views from up there, my friend. Uh, other things that we have here is different colored torches. Always wanted to have different colored torches in Minecraft. Yes, they're a beautiful addition to this game. Um, so this one is just a torch in a different color. So we've got yellow on me, so let's make some yellow torches. So that goes there and that goes there. But there's, why does that one not work then? Because it works with blue. Let's try a different color. Let's try lime. I got a feeling that some of them don't work correctly. So we'll go torch. Is it because it's already that? I don't know why this one's not working. But anyway, we can make different color torches. as blue for an example. Uh, this is a really cool one. This is hardened glass. It's so much cleaner as well. So if you wanted to make yourself some kind of hardened glass, the recipe is iron plus iron nuggies and whatever color will be the color. So we will just use the lime, for example. Three of these on top. Quite expensive to make it though. But if you've got spare resources or you've got iron farms, it's not going to be too much of a problem for you. Uh, again, just making the recipes a lot easier. The last two we have here, one is underwater TNT and one's an underwater torch and they work flawlessly. So if you wanted to make underwater TNT, you need prismarine around TNT in that formation. And if you wanted to make a torch, it's prismarine with a torch. And I love this. Underwater torches would definitely be in my mob pack if I ever created a mob pack. And I'll show you guys the, the underwater TNT as well, the torches. But... The torches, they just, they just, they light it up. They work perfectly, right? And they work flawlessly as well. So if we do forward slash time set night. They should work as well. Yeah, they emit like a brightness as well. I love them. And then the TNT as well. This is just underwater TNT. Let you explode it. We'll grab ourselves uh, a fire charge. Although I'm kind of curious. Fire charge? Yeah, there you go. Underwater TNT. Boom, does explosions because, whoa, that was quite a big one. As you guys know, ordinary TNT does not work. So 
That's two different add-ons. I got one more that I want to show you that I think is really helpful again for the survival world, but I like this one a lot just because I think these things would be a great addition in Ordinary Survival. So I love the concept of this. I still feel there's a little bit more tweaks that could be made with this pack, but this one's created by uh, Mubasic, and what this is, it's this. Now what this is, is an uncrafting table. Now I know in Minecraft we have the ability to smell items for iron nuggies and gold nuggies, but this also gives you a little bit more. You can uncraft a couple of items, you can uncraft your tools, you can uncraft your armor, and you get a little bit back. Now this is the crafting recipe for this. You are going to need a crafting table. You're going to need four different obsidian and you're going to need four different uh, quartz blocks as well. And that's the crafting uh, outcome will be this, the uncrafting table. Now these are all the items that can currently be uncrafted. I really hope they introduce more. There's definitely a couple more things I would love to see. Now I'll show you guys in survival how this works. Now depending on the durability of the item actually depends on what you get back. So this one, again, I feel like when, whenever you smelt the likes of your gold and, and these things, you don't get enough back. One gold nugget is not worth it, especially if it's a fully repaired item. So we've got a forward slash game mode survival. And we just move these. If we right click the item on this, it takes the item and you get something in return. So you get a diamond back. Now, sometimes you don't always get everything back perfectly. So you can see here as we're just uncrafting these, we're not always getting... Like two, that time we got another one, so come on, come on. So the, 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 the drops that you get back are random. They're not always going to be like two or three, but I really like the concept behind this one. Let's not put the armor on. Uh, it's just a really cheap and easy method to get yourself. I don't want to put these on. I want to uncraft them. I'm trying to uncraft you. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm putting them on. What I've not done though, I just noticed. I've just noticed, right, we have stone. I haven't tried the stone ones yet. So you get sticks back. Ah, okay. So with the stone ones, you get sticks back. Oh, that got, gave me cobble that time. And this one gives you uh, nothing great. I just want to see what happens when we uncraft all of these. And the diamond ones. Man, it keeps putting my armor on. I don't want to do that. Let's try this one. Nope. It keeps equipping it. But yeah, this one's just a really simple addition to your Minecraft world. I like this a lot. I love messing around with uh, survival based creations. And obviously the creator of this thought, you know what? I think we deserve more rewards back for the items. So instead of just getting one nuggy, we are getting one diamond, two diamonds, some gold and that as well. So it's a good chance because now a lot of people are going to be un un uncrafting or getting rid of their, their diamond stuff because well, Netherite's going to be in the game very, very soon. And that's like the best armor in the game. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Credit to the creators. The links are down below. If you want to see some more, hit that like button. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.